to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. In 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 3, God instructs Saul to kill all of the Amalekites, including the babies. How do we reconcile this with a pro-life view and with Jesus' words in Luke 17, verse 2? Well, this is one of those great questions where there seems to be kind of this holy tension. We know that God is a God of life. He's a God of love, that every time you turn around, God is preserving life. He is promoting life. And then at the same time, you see these passages, particularly in the Old Testament, where the eradication, and some people would even say God is asking for genocide. Well, several things to consider. Number one, every group or every people group that God says something like this about, and by the way, the Amalekites in 1 Samuel 15 are not the first ones, they're not the only ones, and they're not the last ones, is that if you do kind of a contextual study, at some point, these individuals, the Amalekites included, were asked to or were summoned to repent of the rebellion against God, and they did not do so. Number two, you have to understand, particularly in the Old Testament, that these groups, whose names often end with ites or eens, were contrary to the people of God, which was the sovereign plan of God, the means for the Messiah coming. So therefore, if the Israelites get destroyed, then the lineage of Abraham, who's bringing the Messiah, is, quote, hindered. So that being said, Not only does God give them an opportunity to repent, but number two, he is preserving his covenant. He's preserving his path for the Messiah to come. So we look at it from today's lens. Here we are in the 21st century as a believer in Jesus Christ. Absolutely. We are pro-life, not only the institution of it, but the preservation of it. But here's the thing today. We are not in a place, for lack of better terms, where we're trying to preserve a messianic line. And so the context of the first Samuel passage is a different context than today. Same God, different context, different purpose. At the end of the day, God had a plan and a purpose and a means of bringing the Messiah. Our privilege today is to respond to the Messiah and to reconcile these, at times, difficult passages. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.